What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense. We're here for a time, but not a long time. And this is so much juice, so much tea. Like the video as my intro plays, and we are going to get right into it. I can't. I can't. I'm going to even give you all the old intro. <laughs> make it make sense. Could somebody please make it make sense? Big Mims! Surfer. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Hey, let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Hey, let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. And I should have known better when I seen her hair. I got a feel. <laughs> okay, guys. This is going to be a sneak peek. So just FYI, if you don't like spoilers, um, you can actually fast forward to the end of the video. Because the end of the video is a whole bunch of receipts of Mia apologizing. It, crazy. The whole thing is crazy. Uh, stay till the end, though. I'm doing some announcements. Membership announcements, video announcements. We got a lot going on on the channel. So let's start with the preview. I just, I, I, the impotency thing, that was a lot for me. That's a whole lot for me. Things that I what is thought wrong that I you? knew about you, Mia, I ended up finding out were completely different. Name it. You were never the CEO of your company. Lies. You were never. Lies. Gordon was. God damn. And I know I all about it. it. Now, I fact checked that and technically Mia is the CEO of she has like her own like management company and I think she managed the the um, the businesses but we know that Gordon's business was him and his brother and Mia was on the board so just a quick fact check it. when it's I have all like... those details you want to see it yes okay oh, <laughs> what is happening? Pandora's box here. Okay, so you I want me to bring start. it out? You want to start? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, she's got a bedazzled box. Okay. What is happening? Do you really want to it's been done. The notebooks, the boxes, the giant pieces of paper, it's been done. Sorry. Why don't people just come out with <laughs> you, you ready? Just come out you with ready? Out we don't this. need all of this. Okay. So me and um, Giselle, you came out with lipsticks and we know how that ended. Claims that she oh, was you with. Sure? Are you sure? She was. She claims that she was with my mama Mother's Day. She was not. No, yeah, my I wasn't. But I was on the phone with her for about an hour. Oh, okay, so, you're oh. so she lied. Is anybody surprised? You can put in the comments. Thirty seconds in, and she's already admitting to lying. I was on the okay, FaceTime. No. So her. Mia questioning or me now. with married men, but. She needs to focus on how her husband never knows her whereabouts. Your husband was checking with me to find out where. Now, side note, because I have inside information, I did this interview with Jacqueline's sister and Mia's nanny. Um, Jacqueline's mom doesn't quite know what's going on. If you're new to the channel, you could check that out. Um, her name is Tita. She has her own YouTube channel. She exposed a whole lot, a lot of like family stuff, but the mom isn't fully aware of what is going on with Mia and, and Jacqueline. So if she took that call, that would be why. Where you were when you were in Atlanta with, I guess at a wedding, cause he was thinking you were with another man. <laughs> so I actually wouldn't. The tea you guys, <laughs> the tea. I can't. Had, I was going to have brunch with um, my ex-boyfriend's mother and that's what he got upset about and we hashed that out i was not with him okay is this the ex-boyfriend she shared with jacqueline so my point I mean, is her own really husband nothing. doesn't even believe her lies and doesn't trust her okay anything else from you it's a lot of paper. mike drop mike drop papers in there i know there is but i don't want to go there okay, okay. jacqueline did you and gordon 
ever have sex. Do we believe that she has anything more groundbreaking than what Jacqueline just did? Do we believe that she has anything more groundbreaking than what Jacqueline just did in that box? That's why the box went up, Mia, because Jacqueline just bested you. No. Okay. Was that another narrative that was tried? Was like no. I think that was a narrative that um, some of the ladies here believed or thought that we did. Okay. And y'all ran with it. Um, I didn't run with it. I don't. Mia never said that we had sex. Uh, Jacqueline, I like you, but y'all were pretty coy about the situation. So we we you all were kind of coy cold. about it, yes. though. Yeah. Well, but I mean, in all, you're a grown woman. If somebody's asking if you slept with somebody. Question. It's either yes or no. Are you sleeping? You are a grown woman as well. Did you ask Jamal if he was sleeping with people? Because <laughs> that binder had the receipts and you said you didn't believe them. So maybe mind your business, Giselle. Sleeping with married men? No, I'm not. So I'm not sleeping with any with married men. Where'd you come up with that? Jacqueline is in a happy relationship. Guys, like, you know, I got a little inside. T. Jacqueline is a, in a very happy relationship. So Mia knew that and tried to destroy her everything. Mia? You know, I'm going to let her have that one. Do the two of you have a sexual relationship? No. We do not. You do not? No. I never believed that. Okay. It just never seemed. Me and Mia are just like a, we, we were hmm. close I friends. I shout out to a lot of my girlfriends. And the jokes write themselves. We're like sisters. Okay. Karina from New Jersey said, Mia, if you... Um, I don't know about that one. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I don't take showers with my sisters. Or my brother, for that matter. I would have... If you had such an issue with Jacqueline sleeping with married men as a friend... Why not discuss that with her in private rather than outing her in front of the girls because on national Because we're on a reality show no, about I, our no, lives. that's not why. I only outed Jacqueline. It was a response. And she came after Gordon. She basically said that I need to get more dick. Jacqueline is the only one on the on this platform that knows that my husband is a prostate cancer survivor. No, I freshly. know. You, you told me. Said, right? I didn't know you that. You told me, Mia. Be that as it may, she Michael. used that as a moment to come after my husband. Where is she going with this, guys? Then, and his in performance in whatever he can't do or can't do. Like I have a problem with this. You don't ever need to tell America or the world your husband's business like that. Like, what? We didn't need to know that he can't perform. Why are you putting that on Front Street? You were so. She's trying to destroy Jacqueline by insinuating that that comment was specifically about G. But we as the audience did not know that this man had performance issues. Why would you choose to expose him? And now a lot of this whole. G watching her perform with other men makes sense now knowing that he can't technically do it per her own admission why would you expose now Jacqueline if you exposed him if that's what you meant by that it's messed up I'm a straight shooter pow pow but if that's not what you meant by that and Mia is trying to use his being a cancer survivor to destroy you and then by putting his personal business on front street y'all that is really trash I'm sorry I do not like that that's not something that was known. So that's really, that's not cool. Like, I, I didn't come to this group and say, oh, Jacqueline, sleep with a married man. No, but you came after my husband's Mia, penis. you are exaggerating. So we're going to talk about I don't all have the no, married penises listen, that you're sleeping your with. Your man's penis is your business. Them. I don't know that I believe that Jacqueline is doing that. But be careful. You just said that Wendy was sleeping with Peter. You you do this, Mia. That's the problem when you're the person that cries wolf. Anytime that you are consistently the person that cries wolf, nobody is going to believe you because you have a pattern of not telling the truth. Because I do have a text message of you saying that I need to stop 
be married men, and I'm in love with a married man. So, you know, be careful. Two can tango. So if you met him when he was married, then how are you saying close your legs to married men? I should have closed my legs to a married man, too, but I didn't. Yeah, exactly. But I'm not. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> Guys, Mia then apologizes to, uh, <laughs> these are the outside receipts. I'm telling you guys, there's no, <sighs> it never stops. Uh, Mia says, first, I'm sorry for repeating what I heard without discussing the alleged with the person directly. I have so much love for my family and friends. It pains me to know I caused so much off-camera drama. Brotherhood is a bond. While G needs more time to process, I want to publicly apologize for spreading a rumor. It's rude and not very nice of me. She's talking about Peter. She's apologizing to Peter after you allege that Peter had slept with Wendy. That was a lie. Another lie. Um, I'm on a spiritual healing journey. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I'm deeply wounded. Although I can't deny that God has truly blessed me, my family, my friends, I may fall short at times, but I'm a woman enough to take accountability for my actions. Peace and blessings. Second, I want to publicly apologize to my bestie, my sister, and my Reese. She's talking about Jacqueline, but she never named her. I'm sorry I was not able to give you the emotional support you needed while embarking on a new chapter of life. I'm sorry I was nasty and rude and didn't find more patience. I know we never, I know we may never be okay, but no, I want the world for you. Didn't seem like it on the show. She goes on to say, last but not least, my G, how did I get so lucky to have a man like you? Thank you for loving me unconditionally, standing by me and showing me unwavering love. You apologized to Peter, admitted that you were lying, admitted to, that you were lying about being with this woman's mother. That was a low blow to say that you were with her on, on Mother's Day, but she wasn't. Y'all, these are all some really... I'm looking at Mia real side-eyed right about now. Um, you were effing for lobster. I'm not denying it. We saw that on the reunion already. I just... Wendy had something to say. She says, and you still have no receipts. Give it up, bird brain. The world knows you're a pathological liar. Exactly. I just, I'm, I'm not quite sure. She, Mia then goes on to say, y'all can sit here and glaze over that girl accusing G of sleeping with a man if you want to. Defamatory. That's, what, that's what's not cool. Also accusing me of sleeping with that man first. That's what's corny. But for real, I don't have time for the ish. Say I lied. I really don't care because your girl opened a new doctor's office and two more are under construction. So everyone calm down, take five and adjust. Smart to plug your business. We don't know that. The problem is we don't know the things that come out of her mouth are true. From the time that she had told Wendy some stuff that Giselle had said and then it came out to not be true. You have no credibility. I'm sorry. You have none. And it's not a good look. Um, if <laughs> I'm going to go live today for my members. Um, if you guys remember, I told you that I got a Bravo Liberty to agree to interview with me. Um, I will let my members know first who that is. So on that live, we'll talk about some behind the scenes stuff that I have been going through, uh, my channel, and who I will be interviewing Um who from the Bravo verse. So that's some big news. Also, I did a live panel with Rodney, Jamie, and Gabor. Absolutely hilarious. Um, these content creators are some of my faves, um, friends in real life. Uh, definitely not only check out that video, but check out their channels. They they do Potomac. I love these guys and they are hilarious. But I did this video called Stunt Queens. I'm going to link this specifically. Check that out. It's where I told you guys that all of this sounds like PR to me. The letters have not gone out yet. So all of the extra publicity that you can drum up off season, well, Mia probably thinks that will guarantee her a spot on the show. I outlined it very carefully on this video. Check that video out. You will not be disappointed. We went into all of it. This was a lot, guys. I cannot wait for the reunion. Um, who knows? I might have more surprises for you guys when I review the reunion 30 minutes after the show airs. So check that out. 830 Central. I review the show. Uh, you never know what you're going to get, but make it make sense. Like the video, and I will see you guys later. This was a 